And the second that we spill out our life essence, our frequency drops. We are no longer in that spiritual high. We are no longer in that alpha mode, if you will. And we reach that point where we are just depressed. We hate the effing shit that we just did. We hate life. Well, I don't know if it's that severe. But you know what I mean. After a relapse, it just sucks. You feel like shit. You're obviously not proud of it. You're obviously not in alpha mode. And you kind of look down on yourself, am I right? All right, fellas, so this has kind of been the hot issue in the whole nofap realm. But let's talk about semen retention. So I'll be honest, I haven't done much homework on semen retention, but I have listened to enough where I could kind of touch on the subject and give you guys my input on it, all right? So seafood, seafood retention. <laughs> so semen retention is basically not orgasming, not spilling out your man essence, if you will. And I'm sure you guys are thinking, if you do nofap, you're practically practicing semen retention am i right it's practically the same thing if you're thinking that you're pretty much correct but with semen retention they emphasize more on not orgasming and focusing on the benefits of not orgasming all right so before i can get into this let's talk about our semen <laughs> all right let's talk about our sperm our sperm is basically the essence of a man and when i say essence it's our life force it is basically the liquid that makes man a man, all right? When we create babies, when the universe, when God created us, he gave us sperm. He gave us this specific liquid in us that is able to create life, all right? With women, it's their eggs. So during the act of having sex, during the act of intercourse and making a child, it's the emotional, spiritual high that we are getting. And during that moment, we release the most energy abundant source that is in us, which is our sperm. So when we think about it that way, our sperm is actually a life force. It is liquid life force that is literally creating life. I hope that visual made sense. So if we think of it that way, our sperm is basically nourishment for our bodies. The longer that we keep it in us, the stronger we get, the more, the healthier we get, the more in tune with ourselves we get, the more grounded, the more composed we are. Now when we spill out our semen every day, we are constantly releasing this life energy. Thus we are killing ourselves. We are becoming less alive. We are experiencing life not to its fullest. Now I want you guys to imagine that shitty ass feeling you have after a relapse, all right? During the high of before reaching orgasm, you are in almost nirvana, all right? Your mind, your body, your spirit is in a, a high. Our body's energy is in a high frequency mode. And the second that we spill out our life essence, our frequency drops. We are no longer in that spiritual high. We are no longer in that alpha mode, if you will. And we reach that point where we are just depressed. We hate the effing shit that we just did. We hate life. Well, I don't know if it's that severe. But you know what I mean. After a relapse, it just sucks. You feel like shit. You're obviously not proud of it. You're obviously not in alpha mode. And you kind of look down on yourself, am I right? So yeah, keep that life essence inside of you. I remember actually reading a Kama Sutra book and it talks about that. It talks about semen retention, even during sex. So when you're actually having sex with a person, it's no longer just reaching an orgasm. It's no longer thinking about sex as, hey, let me spill my load. It's no longer about that. It turns sex into a spiritual and emotional connection, all right, rather than reaching an orgasm. So as I was reading this Kama Sutra book, it talks about um, just basically when you think you're gonna orgasm, slow down and instead, be in your body, experience the moment, breathe with her, and just focus on your chi vibrating and, and going through her and coming back to you, where you guys are breathing in unison, being one in unison. And it also brings me to another Christian belief because I am Christian, but yeah, I read other, other aspects of spirituality. But I remember the Bible talks about how when you are married with a woman, you are one. 
all right? And when this Kama Sutra concept was talking about breathing together, being one together, all right? It just, it was kind of interesting, you know what I mean? It's, it's, so, it's so interesting how Christianity and other aspects of spiritualism is so relative in different different principles, you know what I mean? On on how to treat life, how to treat sex, how to treat health. They're all almost relative in certain ways. But basically what I'm trying to get at with this video is to let you guys know that semen retention has its benefits. Not only just when you're making love with a woman or just to take care of your health during a no fat thing, but semen retention keeps life in you, all right? So some of the studies and some of the belief in regards to semen retention is that after keeping it in you for so long, you keep life in you. Thus, you age a lot less, all right? You stay a lot stronger because all that nutrients in your sperm, all the enzymes in your sperm keeps you strong, all right? Keeps your immune system immune, keeps your immune system in check. And not only that, just like what you do with NoFap, it's, it just turns you more alpha because you're no longer releasing that sexual energy or that life force in you and you're keeping it in you, okay? It's almost like you're a Ferrari and you're keeping your tank full, all right? So this is just a quick video I wanted to talk about and just touch on the subject of semen retention. I definitely wanna shoot more videos, <laughs> shoot more videos at you guys. I, wanna def I definitely wanna talk about this topic more and give you guys more input, more studies, more of what I can find to help educate us, all right, the SnowFab community, about the benefits of semen retention, not only physically, but also spiritually. Like I said, making love to a woman, practicing, practicing semen retention, all right, that's pretty interesting. I know while you are just making love with a woman, you just wanna pop it, you know what I'm saying? You just wanna pop your load, but don't. Instead, be in the moment, be with her, breathe with her, and just, Feel the emotions, emotionally orgasm rather than physically orgasm. I know that that's tough to hear, that's tough to understand, but it's possible. Read that book, read that Kama Sutra book. Now you don't have to, but I'll probably discuss that too, some other topic or some other video, I'll talk about that, okay? So anyways guys, what did you get from this video? Do you guys agree, disagree? All right, do you guys practice semen retention? If you're on the NoFap thing, you're obviously doing semen retention, but what are some of the benefits that you guys experience doing semen retention or practicing semen retention. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have not already, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel so we can see more videos just like this that could help you to become a better man. And remember guys, whatever trials you're going through, it's all uphill from here. So thanks again for tuning in. As always guys, God bless you and have the best day ever.